Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Swarna Mams Biology. So in this video, let us discuss some of the most important PYQ rules from the lesson Biological Classification. So these are the questions from the introduction to the Biological Classification which are taken from your previous years starting from 2014 to 2024. So before answering this, I will briefly describe what is the five kingdom classification and how the organisms are classified into five kingdoms. So we know that it is Wittager who classified all the living organisms into five kingdoms. Those are kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Fungi, kingdom Plantae and kingdom Animalia. So these are the five kingdoms which are proposed by Wittager. And so what is the need for classification means what is the basis for the classification? So, what is the criteria for classification? It is based on the cell structure. Means, whether the organisms are having the true nuclei, means the nucleus is surrounded by a true nuclear membrane, then those organisms are called as prokaryotes. Means, based on the cell structure, the organisms are classified into prokaryotic and eukaryotic. If the organisms are having the true nuclei, they are called as eukaryotic. If the organisms are not having the true nucleus, where the nucleus is not surrounded by the nuclear membrane, then we are calling them as prokaryotic. And based on the body organization, the organisms are classified into, we know they are classified into unicellular and multicellular. Based on the mode of nutrition, how they prepare their own food materials. If they can prepare their own food materials, they are autotrophs. If they can't prepare their own food materials, they depend on the other organisms for their food then they are heterotrophs and reproduction based on the reproductive mechanisms they are again classified into asexual sexual or both the types okay so both the types of the reproduction or it may be asexual or sexual or both on phylogenetic relationship based on this phylogenetic relationship they are again classified into primitive as well as advanced type so this is a about the brief description about the criteria for the five kingdom classification and who proposed that classification. So let us try to answer the questions which are given from the previous years. So let us see the first question. So first one. So, in the five kingdom system, the main basis of the classification is, see the options, structure of the nucleus, mode of nutrition, structure of the cell wall and asexual reproduction. So, just now we have seen in the five kingdom classification based on the mode of nutrition, that is based on the how they prepare, whether they prepare their own food material or depend on the other organisms for their food, they are classified into autotrophs and heterotrophs. So, according to that information, the correct answer is B, mode of nutrition. Let us check whether our option is correct or wrong. Yeah, it is correct. So, here the explanation is also there. Let us see. The five kingdom classification is a mode of classification based on the complexity of the cell structure, based on the complexity of the body structure, based on the mode of nutrition, and based on the ecological lifestyle, and as well as the phylogenetic relationship. So, according to this five kingdom classification, mode of nutrition is also one of the criteria to classify the organisms into five kingdom. So, let us proceed to the next question. See the question. Phenetic classification of the organisms is based on A. Observ observable characters of the existing organisms. B. The ancestral lineage of the existing organisms. C. Didotrogram based on the DNA characteristics. D. Sexual characteristics. So, these are the four options which are given. And we know that phenetic classification is mainly based on observable characters of the existing organisms. Let us answer this. And let us check the answer. Yes, our answer is correct. Phenetic classification is mainly based on the observable characters. Okay, means uh, why, why it is so? 
why because the phylogenetic classification is the classification of the organisms based on the evolutionary relationships so this phenetic classification is mainly based on the observable characters of the pre-existing organisms okay so now let us proceed to the next question now the question is phylogenetic system of classification is based on so see the options morphological features b is chemical constituents c is floral characters and d is evolutionary relationships so phylogenetic uh, system of classification is mainly based on what is called as evolutionary relationships between the organisms so just now we know that evolutionary relationships uh, means based on the evolutionary relationships when we are classifying the organisms we call such a type of the classification as phylogenetic system of classification let us check whether our option is correct or wrong yes it is correct here the explanation is also there so phylogenetic system of classification is mainly based on the that is um, evolutionary relationships and first phylogenetic system of classification includes all the um, plants uh, from algae to angiosperms on the evolutionary sequence okay so let us see the next question so the question is x and y are the components of the binomial nomenclature the naming system was proposed by z so these are the two components of the binomial nomenclature and who named that who means who proposed such type of nomenclature so option a is x is a generic name y is a specific epithet and z is called von linnaeus second um, option x is species name y is generic name and z is whittaker x is specific name y is generic name and z is linnaeus x is generic name y is species name and z is whittaker so we know that Wittager proposed five, five kingdom classification. It is not binomial nomenclature. We even know that binomial nomenclature was proposed by Carl von Linnaeus. Yes. And in that binomial nomenclature, there will be two epithets. First one, X is the generic name and Y is the species name. So according to us, option A is correct. Let us see whether our option is correct or wrong. Yes, it is correct. So, our option is correct. So, it is Carl von Linnaeus who proposed the binomial nomenclature where the organism is given the two names. X is the genetic name and Y is the species name. So, our option is correct. So, these are the questions which are taken from the previous year question papers from the topic introduction to the biological classification. So, in my next videos, I will be coming before you from the, um, means uh, with the PYQs from the topic Kingdom Monera, belonging to this biological classification. Okay. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoyed answering these questions. If you like, please give a like, share and subscribe my channel, Swanna Ma'am's Biology. Thank you.